Hello. I hope you're doing all right today. I have a little review today for you. I have purchased recently, over the past two months, um, these three uh, TN covers from uh, Palace Studio. And I'll link uh, her Etsy shop down below. And I just wanted to share with you my little review of that. And I hope it will be helpful for you to make your own uh, judgment and your own ideas and purchases if you wish to purchase something from that shop. I, for instance, absolutely love the shop and I love these dories and I have purchased three already. And I do believe these are like one of the best, best qualities that of TNs that I have that I own and um, I do believe this is like one of the best investments that I have made uh, due to the quality of the TN cover and I absolutely enjoy using them and I have the colors that I love and you can custom make, custom make your own orders too. By the way, these two were um, her options that she offered in her Etsy shop. And um, this one was custom made, meaning I drew my own uh, design for it. And so let's start. My whole journey with Palace Studios has started with um, this one, this TN. It's a mint one. Now in the camera it looks a bit um, dark, and, but it's a bit lighter. For instance, it's it's more like this color, I guess. It's a pastel mint green. It's a waxed um, leather. It's covered with wax, and uh, as they describe it in their website, that this wax will wear off, and this leather will have its own patina with time. Um, the dory comes with. I counted like about three plastic covers. So if anything happens like rain in your post box, your dory will be safe. It comes with a bubble um, envelope and uh, two or three plastic wraps. I don't remember the moment right now, um, but it's pretty safe and secure. Um, also, what I wanted to mention, it doesn't come with the dust bag. So, just FYI. Um, it comes with two extra elastics. It comes uh, with a charm. This is not from the store. This one is. Unfortunately, I apologize. I couldn't bring all other trinkets that I have purchased from them because I have a child sleeping in the room and I really wanted to make this video because I have been enjoying these dories for a while. So please forgive me for not showing you the trinkets. And each dory comes with a paper clip. That's like you get guarantee, almost guarantee. At least I got for each one of them these paper clips. Hmm. So, just a tip, don't need to really order if you just want one. It might come with your TN. So, let's start with uh, looking at this story. Um, I ordered pockets for all of my uh, doors, but you can also order just a cover, just a top layer with no pockets and stitching. This is the stitching. I love the stitching. It's, um, I'm sorry, my camera is not focusing, but it's absolutely quality stitching. She uses waxed thread, and this is an ombre thread. Um, it's like has a green, blue, gray colors in it. And if we go, and I'm sorry for camera is not focusing. Um, I'm using a different method of filming today. So we'll see how that goes. And it's hand stitched. 
and I absolutely love the holes that she makes because they're so uniform, so genuine, the way it looks like genuine leather product, not just a thin stitch, it's a nice thick leather stitch. Uh, this is my current setup. I'm still using it. I received it in the I think mid-July and I have using been using it The whole time in August and now September. So it's my current setup. I did change it a bit, but I like it this way. So um, This is a full card slot pocket uh, As you can see there's a stitching and what it is is that she has a uh, thin layer of leather inside and uh, it protects the cards from slipping so inside I'm going to take this out I'm not sure how much you'll see but um, she has a material that she is makes card slots so actually it is a whole real card slot pocket if you can see it's purplish inside and there is a slit that she cut so basically you have a card but that's as far as it goes it doesn't go any farther so basically this pocket is separate from this one and um, you have a whole leather backing over there. So it's like a genuine 100% from factory made planners that we buy, like from Daytimer, Filofax, uh, that kind of style. So I have a card slot here. Uh, and I, she also does extra pockets on top. It's like a third layer of leather and it's nice and secure she also does window pockets extra pockets any ideas you can also uh, message her on Etsy and uh, she will tell you if she can do it she did this one for me I liked it and then there's a, a flip pocket here this one doesn't have the backing la layer of leather but that's because there's no like card slots here this is secure nothing falls out from here so it's actually quite because it's leather so it's uh, slip preventable I guess um, I also ordered a pen loop but that didn't suit me because uh, this waxed leather was too firm and uh, it kind of got into my inserts way and I didn't like how my pen kind of was sticking out so that pen loop is not my style, not my preference, uh, but everybody has their different own styles, tastes, so for me, I took it out and I didn't do a bad job. You can see a bit that I was trying to cut off the pen loop and I'm sorry, that's why I wanted to film the video today because I would make changes to the cover and you don't get to see the original original uh, I would say the leather is nice and soft this is how it looks from the top if you have a pocket see this is the thickness of a leather this is one layer of leather and this is three layers of leather because this pocket is sewn on top so this is one two three uh, the edges they are finished I would say they're finished. I'm not sure how she finishes them, um, but they don't feel rough. Like this one even has a little bit of uh, um, color to it as if it was covered with some kind of um, maybe cream or, uh, or protective cream, leather protective cream. As you can see, this is what uh, wax leather is see you get to have these beautiful um, designs from your finger or nails or something like that's like here see like it's coming from the knife that I did but it looks so beautiful this line comes from the inserts falling into it but I love it see that's my insert 
but I like it. I like it. I love the texture, the way you touch it, the way it feels so buttery smooth. Um, it's nice and flexible. It's uh, soft. So basically it molds around your inserts. As you can see, I have uh, four elastics in there and it molds beautifully around your inserts. I enjoy it and you get two extra elastics and you can um, when you order your cover you ask for um, you have an option to ask for a different uh, stitching depends what you like your color and what kind of elastics you want so that's a plus and with most of them you get a paper clip and the charm at least most of mine came like that so this was my first one and this is my just regular planner, but we'll go into the detail of it a bit later. It may be in a different video. Um, okay, this is this is um, regular uh, waxed pastel leather. Uh, this is Safiano leather that she has on her website. And uh, let me tell you, on the pictures, I thought it would be thinner, more like flimsier leather because it was actually what I wanted. A bit of like softer leather, not flimsy. I don't like flimsy, but I like softer. So I ordered this uh, cover in regular size. This is personal size. Um, and I'm like, oh, it must be Safiano leather. It must be thin. So look at this, this looks thin. It probably won't be sturdy enough, so I probably should go ahead with get the reinforced spine. Everybody advertising it right now. Everybody's offering this option. But let me tell you, it's not for me either. But I like it. It still looks good. I give myself a chance to try something new. Uh, I will not order reinforced spines. No, I should never say I will not. Because she has new scalloped ones. And they are so beautiful that I am willing to learn to love the reinforced spine. Why it's not for me? Because it makes it stiff. So, for instance, if you want to buy an A5 cover and you want it to be nice and sturdy because A5s, you usually put A5 notebooks that are heavy that might fl uh, fold in. Like for instance, I will show you here my Naya cover. See how it does here? I don't like this. That's just not me. That's not for me. I like it nice and firm. So for something like this, I'll definitely get the reinforced spine. Even though I love the cover, I'm just showing you what happens when you have nice thick A5 notebooks. All right, let's move on. Stitching, as always, absolutely quality, gorgeous, thick um, thread, waxed, nice leather, handmade holes. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love the stitching. Thickness. This is how it looks. This is how one layer of leather is. This is how two. And let me tell you, the reinforced spine will keep your notebook standing straight. Nothing will fold in, nothing will pull on it. I guarantee you, I tried it. I had it full before. I was actually using this before I moved in into, back into my A5 Naya, because I wanna finish those notebooks. So let's see it from the back. And I absolutely love the white. The white Safiano. And by the way, this is waterproof. So if you spill your coffee on top of it, um, unless it's in the inside, because this probably will change color and absorb the coffee, but this, you just will wipe it off and it'll be nice and clean. Okay, this is the inside uh, window pocket. I told you about, right? The same idea, she has the uh, card pockets. Yep. Nice leather at the back. She also has the same thing with um, these card slots. They are lined and each card slot is absolutely on its own. 
so they don't interfere with each other and they're pretty deep so if you're planning to put like I had um, like long um, labels they fit in there you get the paper clip that's from palace studio uh, window pocket it doesn't have any plastic on top of it so it just as is empty but it's leather on top and it's uh, window is cut out so you can have your family picture your baby picture your dog picture your cat picture your I don't know profession picture motivational quotes there I got four elastics wide basically all all of my notebooks are wide I want my four elastics and they're actually quite big when you have like a wide um, I think if you see here this is my uh, true size regular size Dory because you still get like an extra like four centimeters extra on the side this is my um, dashboard that I made but I made it a bit wider because since it's my notebooks that I make myself I make them wider this is just she has I like her elastics because they're not super thick and not super thin they're just kind of in the middle um, this is the back flip pocket that's what called flip pockets it holds everything not see like it, it will not fall out your stuff will not fall out easily beautiful hand stitching oh by the way I have a problem with um, these thick elastics um, when they are tied over here in the middle or somewhere here here so I fixed that problem I now tie my elastic right there here on the bottom and then I have my notebook right over it and it just kind of looks cute I'll show you right here so this is the back of it and I'll show you how I tie my elastic if you see look here all right all right here if my notebook ends here and my elastic ties here and it doesn't get in the way of uh, writing my last purchase thank you for staying with me this long she offered in August because of her I think second year anniversary I might be wrong um, a bag of goodies and uh, 5 10 15 percent off so I purchased this cover because she said that she has new wax leathers and I asked her if she has any sky blue leathers and she did and I ordered it in regular size because I like journaling in a bigger size and uh, look at this this came as a gift uh, sorry my camera just shook um, and this came as a gift her uh, gift bag but she sells them and these uh, charms I will definitely advertise for her because it's so gentle and elegant and uh, it's not it's light it doesn't get in the way of a notebook um, and these tassels are very soft and gentle and they don't they look clean I don't like tassels that look messy but these look clean and it's soft mint color so it looks well with this cover and it looks well with this one so it's like in between soft mint and soft blue and I'll show you how it looks when you hang it and she charges the same price as most people do for there as you can see there's like little lace I'm not sure how to call it little stars and just some tassels listen let's see how it sounds when you put it down see how soft 
it's like there but it's like not there so this is baby blue she called it waxed baby blue this is white saffiano this is soft mint wax leather and this is baby blue waxed look at this look at these spots and it just looks like like you know how it's in the winter and snow and it just snow on the ground it's like the ground is covered but yet you can still see some grayness or greenness so it's the same idea and absolutely love i love the texture it's so watery so smooth um and it's like uh sturdy it's not flimsy the noble cover the leather is beautiful hand stitching i asked for light blue st stitching and light blue elastics to match my cover this is how it looks from the side i asked only for one layer of pockets layer of leather pockets because three layers is a bit too much for my liking so this is how it looks here and this is a white version and see how nicely it molds over the notebooks here is the pockets how they look on the side let me compare it to Safiano. See, this is three layers of leather, and that is two layers. So it definitely adds thickness. That's why I went with two layers only. Okay, let's open this beauty up. I didn't start using it yet because uh, I was, um, you know what happens when you buy too many of them at the same time, you can't really use them because like I have A5, I have personal and I have a regular size. This is the three sizes that I use and I refuse to try B6 that a lot of people like. I'm like, no, I'm not going to fourth size because then I don't get to finish my notebooks and it bothers me because I enjoy finishing my notebooks. This is an insert that I received from, um, I forgot, it's a Etsy shop, I ordered a notebook from them. Um, this is my insert, this is a regular TN size and this is a regular TN size, I made this notebook. I used actually a hundred GSM paper. Uh, I think it's J Boros Premium for the laser printers. And it's beautiful. It takes fountain pen pretty well. I'm not sure I can show you because it's my journal, but sorry, I can't show you. <laughs> But uh, this is how it looks. W one thing I would mention for the wide version of a regular size TN, she. Oh, never mind. Look at this. If you get reinforced spine, you will get a smaller distance between your three holes. If you get personal size, it looks the same, but. My custom made, I got really wide measurement of centimeters. <laughs> Basically, you can see how the elastics, the holes, three holes are very wide. I'm not sure why she did that. I never mentioned it in my custom order, but she did. It doesn't bother me. Look how beautiful the elastic matches my cover. And this is my custom order. I wanted everything in one. So basically three card slots, the same idea, the same idea here. I'm not sure if you can see, but these open up. It's beautiful, I love it. 
I would recommend this shop. I would recommend this wax leather and I would recommend the Safiana leather. Everything is just beautiful. And she does these side pockets, not side pockets, the linted card slot pocket. And it's here like this. And it just looks so pretty and you can use it like that and it just looks different. And to me, it looks simple, yet I can use it and it's functional and I can use it anytime. This is called a full, at least that's how I understood her website. It's called full um, card slot pocket. And I just drew her a picture of what I wanted. Then look at this back pocket. Isn't it awesome? You don't see a stitching here and you see a slanted card pocket, but guess what? It has the same idea. She did cover, I guess glued the leather. So my cards won't fall off out and they won't interfere with my stickers. And it's the same here. It actually has a purple. I'm not sure if you can see, but yes, it's right here. Purple lining for it. She has lining for the card slots. So, if you enjoyed, oh, there you go. You, see, you can see my elastic, it's tied here at the bottom. So it doesn't get in the way of a notebook. So see, nothing here, but the knot for the elastic is right here. I've had to readjust it myself, but I'm so proud of myself. I solved this problem with the elastics. All right, so here is the blue color, waxed baby blue, waxed mint, and Safiano white, with reinforced. And by the way, if you go on her website, she has a new option of scalloped uh, reinforced spines. And she has like a um, flip pocket that is scalloped here on the side and it just looks gorgeous and you can mix colors, mix leathers. You can mix colors of the leathers. Basically have fun. You can um, choose your own stitching, your elastics, your colors of leathers. It just basically, you can start drooling now <laughs> because I am. Um, I absolutely love this and I hope you enjoyed my review and I apologize. It took about 30 minutes to do the review on three of them but hopefully, and don't forget, you do get your um, extra elastics with the purchase and a little gift, like either a paper clip or um, a um, charm and um, I'm glad you <laughs> were here with me this long and I don't want to keep you any longer, but have fun choosing what you like. Bye.